Hello everybody. I decided that I would show you how to make this chili mac. It's so easy. I can't believe I'm doing a video on it. But I would share it with you because it's a hit here in my house. My family loves it. And it's super fast and easy to make. And it doesn't take that many things. Now I make a bigger batch than normal just because we like leftovers and I think on the second or third day it always tastes better. So you can always cut this recipe in half if you'd like. So I'm using some ground round. I'm using about three pounds. You could use it one and a half pounds if you want, just a smaller package. Um, I would use organic if I had it, but my store didn't have it, so I'm just using some ground round. It's not near as fatty. Um, it's just um, hamburger, but use that too and drain it if that's what you have. Um, you're going to need one big onion. I like a sweet yellow onion, some garlic. Um, I like to use over here um, the Hormel No Beans Chili. And um, again, only buy one if you have a smaller family to feed. I also like to use the Hunt's Dice Roasted Garlic Tomatoes. And I like the fire roasted ones too. I use a can of crushed tomatoes. I also use some elbow pasta and some Italian blend cheese. That gets kind of sprinkled over the top once it's done. I also serve it up with garlic bread. And I use um, chili powder, some crushed red peppers, and some salt and pepper, and even a tad of sugar just to sweeten it up and freshen it up. So the first thing you want to do, start browning your hamburger and dice up your onion and get it in with the hamburger and let it soften while the hamburger is cooking. So we will get started with that. Okay, I have some garlic here, and I also have my onion chopped up. I'm going to be using my handy-dandy garlic press for the garlic, and now I'm going to get the hamburger in. Okay, the hamburger is in the skillet, and I should have said you're going to need a big skillet, so I am using um, this one, and um, it's kind of deep and wide. Um, so you have your hamburger in, you have your onions, and as you can see right there is my garlic. And you just want to cook this and let it get browned up and let the onions soften. So get it all cooked up. Also, in the meantime, you're going to want to get your water boiling for your elbow pasta and go on and get it cooked al dente. You want to leave it a little bit harder because you're going to finish it off in here. So get your um, pasta going while your hamburger is cooking up. Okay, at this point, the ground round has browned with and the onions have softened and I do have my pasta going back here the elbow pasta and letting that cook so now I'm just going to add the two cans of Hormel chili and mix it up okay I have turned the heat down to medium and I'm mixing in the Hormel chili I do like to kind of leave the hamburger a little bit more chunky um, and really mix it up because this is, gives the flavor to everything. You could use the one with beans if you like beans, but um, this is fast. And you could, you know, make your own, like, chili sauce if you wanted, but this is a weeknight dinner on a night that my husband works late and a night that American Idol is on and the Americans, and we want a fast and easy meal, or at least I do, and so that will feed a crowd, and this will do it. So it's all mixed up. Now I'm going to add some of the crushed tomatoes. I'm just going to dump it right in. Mix it up. See, this is a very full um, skillet. Again, you don't have to make as much if you don't want to. And now I'm going ahead and adding one can of the crushed or one can of the um, diced tomatoes so I'm just dumping one can of the diced tomatoes in mix that up and now you're going to season it you're going to season it with the chili powder and the red pepper flakes and salt and pepper since I am making a lot I'm using a lot of chili powder just season it to your preference and I am also using some red, crushed red pepper flakes. I'm just going to dump those in. This will just give it a little more spice to it. I 
I'm also adding a small amount of sugar, maybe a tablespoon or so, right in. And then you want to do your salt and pepper and mix it all up. It smells good, you guys. As soon as the pasta is done, it goes right in. Okay, the pasta is al dente. It's still a little bit hard, but it's going to cook down in here and finish um, cooking. So I'm just using my spider and I'm taking it right on over. This is such a hearty meal. Um, I really like it a couple of days after when the flavors have really blended together. And I always use the elbow for this. I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit, no, I mean a little bit of the pasta water. And mix it all up again. Get that pasta down in there so it finishes cooking. Look how much I made. Like I said, this beats an army. This is a perfect meal if you have a big family. If you're taking a potluck to a church, this is great. Again, this is just a very fast meal. And the flavors are so beautiful together. I love it. You could use some cumin too if you'd want. You could use some basil. I usually use um, roasted red bell pepper that you buy in a jar, but or you know you could roast them yourselves. But I was out and didn't realize it. I'm not running back out for it, so I'm skipping it tonight. And I also leave it pretty chunky. And that, my friends, is dinner. We're gonna let it finish cooking for a little while, and when we serve it up, we'll be serving it with garlic bread and cheese. Yum. Okay, so dinner is done. Let me show you how I serve it up. I just leave it on the stove. Um, this is hot and ready to eat. And then the garlic bread, I just um, leave on a cookie sheet to keep breadcrumbs from going everywhere. And I stack up some bowls. I have some cheese over here for anybody who wants to top it. And I also have some of the chili powder and red pepper flakes in case somebody wants it hotter. And then all I do is add some to a bowl stick in a yummy piece of garlic bread and there is dinner my friends that is simple easy i'll take it over here to the light simple easy and delicious um and it's so fast it doesn't take long and it's nourishing and filling and it will feed a crowd so that is our wednesday night dinner i'm going to find a place on the couch and enjoy this goodbye everybody Oh, you can check out more on my blog at kjaggers.com. If you like the video, take a second to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.